Hello friends, I welcome you all to online learning. Today, I am going to discuss the Infosys technical mathematical ability questions for the system engineer role. So, let us start. In the first question, it is a ratio and proportion question. It is given find A is to B is to C is to D when A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3 b is to c is 7 is to 9 and c is to d is 5 is to 7. So, how can we find it? First write it in the p by q form. That is 2 by 3, 7 by 9, then 5 by 7. To find a, we have to multiply all the numerators that is 2 into 7 into 5 to get b we have to do like this 3 then upper 2 that is 3 into 7 into 5 that is to get the second one we have to find the last one then the upper two ones okay then for c for c we have to we have to multiply two lower ones then one upper one that is 3 into 9 into 5 and at last for finding the all the denominators that is 3 into 9 into 7 so you can remember it by this shape first a we have to go like this then b first one then upper two then c last two bottom two then one upper then d all last all denominators okay so in a all numerators in d all denominators in B, bottom 1, then upper 2. And in C, bottom 2, then upper 1. So now just multiply. It will give you 70. It will give you 105. It will give you 135. And it will give you 189. So your answer will be 70 is to 105 is to 135 is to 189 so easy just remember the trick hope you have understood if you have any doubt tell me in the comment section now let us move to the second question it is a question of permutation and combination it is given five cars are to be parked in five parking slots there are three red cars one blue car and one green car how many ways the car can be parked so we know if five parking slots they can be parked in five is five factorial ways but here there are three red cars that is they will be same okay if we park them differently they as they are all red cars it will come down to as same so we have to divide it by 3 factorial so what will be your answer 5 factorial into 4 factorial into 3 factorial and 3 factorial is below so 3 factorial and 3 factorial will be cut it will be 20 if it is given 2 blue cards then what we have to do 5 5 factorial by 3 factorial by 2 factorial then we have to solve like this way because when you have multiple same thing even if we arrange it will come down to same thing only so we have to divide them so but here we have only three cards then one blue card we can write here one factorial one factorial but that is same so i have only written three factorial here so your final answer will be 20 so 20 ways now let's just move to the next question it is given it is a question of average 
distance between A and B is 1180. A train covers A to B at 20 km per hour and back to A at 30 km per hour. That is the train covers A to B and back to A at 30 km per hour. That is their distance is same. If distance is same, then average speed formula is 2xy by x plus y where x and y are the different speeds so 2 into 20 into 30 by 20 plus 30 now if you solve you will get answer as 24 kilometer per hour just check and tell me if it is right or not in the comment section okay now let us move to the next question again it is a question of average so we have to find average of first 10 multiples of 12 so it has a formula the formula is the number into n plus 1 where n is the number of multiples number of multiples okay by 2 so please remember the formula otherwise it will become tough so what is the number here number is here 12 number of multiples 10 so 10 plus 1 that will become 11 by 2 then 2 will be cut by 6 so your answer will be 66 now let us move to the next question it is given a set of football matches is to be organized in a round robin fashion that is every participating team plays a match against every other team once and only once so every team will play with another team okay if 21 matches are totally played how many teams are participate to solve this type of question we have to write nc2 the total number of matches will be nc2 and it is given as 21 so equate nc2 is equal to 21 if we put n as 7 then 7c2 will be 6 into 5 factorial that is 5 factorial by 2 factorial solve this you will get 21 so your answer will be 7 remember whenever you have you have given that it is given that they one play against another or one man make a handshake handshake problem we have to solve by this technique only one man make a handshake with every other person then also the formula is nc2 so whenever it is given one team plays with every other team or one man makes a hand handshake with every other person in the hall then then whenever it is given like this then the total number of handshakes or total number of matches is always nc2 so please remember this now let us move to the next question okay now it is given find the equivalent discount of two consecutive discount of 10 percent and 15 percent so to solve this the formula is r1 that is the first discount and r2 minus r1 r2 by 100 okay this is the formula now put it you can write 10 plus 15 minus 10 into 15 by 100 so this is 1.5 so 25 and write 25 sorry 25 minus 1.5 so the equivalent discount will be 23.5 percent 
you can solve this by another way also by manually calculating but it, it is the formula so it will bring your question in just two lines or your time will be saved so please i will request you to write this formula and remember it now let us move to the next question it is given it is a very important question it is a very common question in most of the paper you can see this type of question if cp of 24 apples is equal to sp of 18 apples find the profit percent so how you can solve this question the trick is let cp of one apple be one then cp of 24 apples be 24 which is equal to the sp of 18 apples isn't it so cp of 18 apples will be 18 because cp of one apple is one so we know profit percent is equal to sp minus cp by cp into 100 we know profit percent is equal to sp minus cp by cp into 100 so sp minus cp here is 24 minus 18 by 18 into 100 that will be 6 6 by 18 so 1 by 3 that is 1 by 3 into 100 is is 33.33 percent so your answer will be this so remember whenever it is given cp of apples is equal to something sp then always consider cp of one thing as one then you can solve this easily hope you have understood this question now let us move to the next question it is given two trains started at same time one from a to b other from b to a if they alive b and a respectively four and hours and nine hours now this is the most important line after they pass each other find the ratio of their speed whenever you will see that it is written after they pass each other then find ratio then you have to use the formula root over b by root over a is equal to speed of a by speed of b so that is it is opposite root over b by root over a is equal to speed of a by speed of b you can only use when it is written after they pass each other okay so remember it now just put it root over 9 by root over 4 that will be 3 by 2 so the answer will be 3 is to 2 ratio hope you have understood and hope you are liking this session if you like it, please share it with, with your friends. Let me know in the comment section and also like the video. And also tell me in which topics you want more questions. Then I will come up with that questions and I will also come up the, with the tricks of that topic also. Okay. Now let us move to the next question. It is given. It is also average question. The average of 14 girls and their teacher's age is 15 years. If teacher's age is excluded, then average is reduced by 1. What is the teacher's age? Okay, so when the teacher age is excluded, then the average is reduced by 1. So there are 14 girls, so it is reduced by 14, isn't it? It is reduced by 14, but when the teacher is added, it will be get plus by 14 plus 1 because teacher is also there so the average of 14 girls is previously was 15 average of 14 girl is 14 sorry plus when the teacher says add 
plus 15 then then it will be 29 again if i tell you the if without teachers the average reduced by one so without teachers the average age is age is 14 okay then the teacher's age should be 14 it would be 14 plus 14 plus 1 then only it will it will get added with this 14 also isn't it so 14 plus 14 plus 1 that will be 29 so teacher's age will be 29 hope you have understood if you don't get understood in the first attempt then pause the video then again check the solution you will get to know about the question about the answer now let us move to the last question it is a question of partnership and these are very very important questions okay so a and b start a business by investing rupees 35,000 and rupees 20,000 respectively b left the business after five months and c joined the business with a sum of rupees 15,000 the profit earned at the end of the year is 84125 what is the b's share of profit now let us first find out what is the share of investment they have made if we find that then that share will only be equal to the share of profit they receive so 35000 is is the money invested by a for the whole year that is 35000 into 12 then 20000 is invested by b for a single month for 5 months so it will be 20000 into 5 and then b c joined after b left so 15000 into time would be 7 months into 7 now we can reduce it 0 0 0 will be cut then by 5 it will be 7 it will be 4 it will be 3 then we are left with 84 84 is 7 into 12 84 by 5 into 4 it will be 20 and then will be 20 and 7 into 3 21 now we have to find b share of profit to find b share we have to find we have to write b b share by the total share they are having together 84 plus 20 plus 21 upon multiplied by the total profit they have got 84125 so this is the b share by total share of the total profit that will be your answer if you solve it your answer will come as 1460 so whenever this type of problem comes first find the total investment they made total investment would be the time into the amount of money then it will become easy then you have to only take the value for which for whose share you have to find by total share and into the total profit they have got so hope you have uh, liked the session please comment me in which topics you want more videos okay let us meet in the next video thank you have a nice day ahead